Remember that fun game show called Hollywood Game Night? It is so resonant here with this channel that we just had to buy this condensed version of the game. Welcome to the thrift store right now, waiting Hollywood home on a budget. Yep, we have the Hollywood Game Night Party Game from Cardinal and NBC Studios. Featuring its Emmy Award winning host, Jane Litch. Well, she's not really included in the game, nor are the celebrity guests. But, all the more fine by me. This is a dollar ninety nine. Make every game night a Hollywood game night. I mean, I just want to shout hello from sight of this. Make every game night a Hollywood game night. You've been invited to the wildest party in town. All the crazy fun of Hollywood game night has been transported from Jane Lynch's glamorous, ho glamorous Hollywood mansion to your own living room. Think you can get your friends to ID a famous TV show using only a few words? Which of your guests can do do a song the best? Which team will win the chance to score big bucks playing celebrity name game? By the way, the separate game show of the same name has no relation to Hollywood Game Night. Even though its host, Craig Ferguson, has won an Emmy for hosting that game. Jane Lynch won too. Start mixing the martinis, it's time to play the Hollywood Game Night party game. Jane Lynch and celebrity guests not included, and neither is the house band. The game is for four to eight players divided as evenly as possible into two teams. The team that wins the coin toss gets to choose the first game and play first, then the second team will play that game. Teams will then alternate choosing and playing first until each of the four main games have been played. The games are Take the Hint, which is a guessing game where players on the same team provide one word clues to their team's guesser to try to get him to identify the correct answer. And how do you do? Players must sing the song on the card using only the word do and hopefully get their teammates to guess the correct song. TV ID is played by both teams at the same time, so one player from each team bids the fewest clue words possible for their right to get their teammates to guess the name of a TV show. And in I Love a Charade, one player acts out an item on a card and tries to get his teammates to guess what he's acting out. Most of the games have a 90 second time limit, so when the sand and the timer runs out, so does your turn. In the first two games played, each team earns one point for each correct answer, and in the last two games played, each team earns two points for each correct answer. After four games, teams then take turns playing Celebrity Name Game, with one player acting as the clue giver. The box contains the score chart with a dry erase marker and category cards, plus a 90 second timer and instructions. Everything's included in the game. And it's a little bit tricky to open. Thrift store purchase or not. I went ahead and organized all of this for you because the box was a little bit disorganized in all of its contents when I first opened it. So I went ahead and organized it for you. So here's the dry erase board included marker here. Instructions and a quick rundown for how to play the game. And a quick reference guide, too, on the other side. Plus the category cards and the 90 second timer. Is it me, or are these type of timers the most fun timers there are? These are the most addictive timers I've ever seen. Like sands through the hourglass. I won't go there with the reference this time. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the nights of our lives. Make them more fun, more interesting, like the creators of the game so Sean Hayes and Todd Milner with Hollywood Game Night. Thanks for watching the Thrift Store Rundown. Stop fighting with me, stupid bots. Will we bring Hollywood home on a budget? Jane, quit fighting with me. You gotta go back in the box. Get back in the box. Get back in the box. Don't you fight me. Get back in the box. I will destroy you. Get back in the box. And speaking of Jane Lynch, we got an unofficial guide to Glee coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. 
I am not a fan of Glee. I'm not a Gleek. And yet I'm not a fan of unofficial guides to TV shows. But we'll see if this makes up for it in its text. 